Let's look at an example of unit conversions with cubed units. This is one that just gets under some people's skin. They have a hard time with this. So convert 195 cubic nanometers to cubic centimeters. So we've got nanometers cubed, and we want to get to centimeters cubed. When I set up the path, what I like to do is first just overlook the cube. We can bring him back in later. Just thinking about how would I get from nanometers to centimeters? Well, there's more than one way to do it. But what I recommend is when you look at a, a conversion factor in the metric system, this has a prefix and this has a prefix. Two prefixes, that means you should do it in two steps. It can be done in one step, but that is fraught with peril. Don't, don't even go. I wouldn't go there. It requires far too much thinking, and I'm still likely to get the answer wrong. The quick and easy way is to just do two steps. You can do it faster without much thinking. The two steps are first you go from nanometers just to meters. There's a cube in there. And then from meters to centimeters. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my 195 cubic nanometers. Now, this cube, does that apply to the 195? No, it doesn't. Some people get a little excited and they start cubing everything in sight. No, this is 195 space cubic nanometers. If we wanted that cubed, we'd probably just cube it and write it down, or we'd write 195 cubed nanometers cubed. So don't cube that number. Two conversion factors, because I have two arrows. There's one, there's two. Again, we're just going to ignore the cube at first. Nanometers to meters. So I've got nanometers here. I'm going to put meters in here. And then I'm going to go to centimeters. So centimeters goes up there. This nanometer unit comes into the denominator. And meters is in the denominator down there. We haven't brought the cube back yet. It'll come. Now we just use our knowledge of metric prefixes. So in this first conversion factor, nano is on the bottom. So one nanometer is one times 10 to the something meters. The prefix is on one side. The 10 to the something is on the other side. Never put them together. What does nano mean? 10 to the minus 9. And then 1 centimeter is 1 times 10 to the something meters. Here's centi, and I'm going to write what it means down here. Centi means 10 to the minus 2. Everybody OK with that? Now I do have to acknowledge that my units are cubed. So that means I cube my conversion factors. This cube applies to everything in the parentheses, the numbers and the units. There's parentheses, and the 3 is on the outside, so it applies to everything. <coughs> Here, there are no parentheses, the 3 is only on the nanometer, so it only applies to the nanometer. But in this conversion factor, I am cubing my numbers as well. Okay, If you find that you mess up doing that, you can do it a longer way. You could say, well, 195 nanometers cubed times 1 times 10 to the minus 9 meters per 1 nanometer times 1 times 10 to the minus 9 meters per nanometer. You get the idea. It's tedious. But maybe you need to write it out like this once to just make it clear in your head what's going on. Because what's happening here is this nanometer is canceling one of these three. So I take this and I knock this down to nanometers squared. This nanometer is canceling one of those, so now I've just got nanometers left, and this one is canceling the third one. 
So the number comes in there twice. In doing just this part, I'd end up with meters times meters times meters, meters cubed. So that's what's going on. You don't have to write it out like that. But if that's what works for you, by all means, go ahead. Nobody's going to make fun of you for that. So on my calculator, how am I going to do this? And you need to learn how to communicate with your calculator. So I'm going to take 195. Again, I've got a TI-36X Pro times. And then I'm going to do 1EE minus 9. And then I'm going to press the X to the square button and push 3. So I'm cubing that. And then I'm going to divide by 1EE negative 2 x to the square button 3 equals. And then my answer is 1.95 times 10 to the minus 19. And the unit would be centimeters cubed. Now you want to make sure that your calculator was doing what you thought you were telling it to do. And so you can look at orders of magnitude and see, did things go like I planned? Was I really cubing things or was I doing something really weird? So 10 to the minus 9, if we cube that, that's going to be 10 to the minus 27, because 3 times 9 is 27. And that's going to be divided by 10 to the minus 2 cubed, which is 10 to the minus 6, 2 times 3. And so that's going to give me uh, negative 27 minus negative 6, 10 to the minus 21. And that's 195. The decimal point is going over two places. And so, yeah, I did that right. If, that, if this part didn't make much sense to you, you'll be okay. Another way to check it would be to do it this way. You just type this in three times and divide by that three times and make sure you're getting the same answer. <coughs> Any questions? Biggest mistake students make is they don't cube the numbers. They just cube the units.